$1,796 up to $2,321 of Social Security benefits and compounding. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know as well as real dollar amounts right here in the video. Let's get right into it. I know in this video, I do want to discuss Social Security benefits, raises to benefits each and every year, and some examples of compounding as well as real dollar amounts that you should probably take into consideration and recognize because this is actually a pretty big deal and the power of compounding when it comes down to your monthly benefit. Let's get into it and talk through all those details. Really fast before we do, thanks for joining me. If you have not done so yet, make sure to do yourself a huge, huge favor. Hit that subscribe button right down below the video as I'm here for you right by your side every single day, doing all the research and breaking it all down into these short videos, watching all the new information, hitting the wire and advocating on your behalf every single day in any way that I possibly can. I've been here for you every single day for nearly four years now and I will continue to be here for you every single day no matter what going forward. We've got to stick together through this time. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and I will continue to keep you informed of what is actually going on and anything popping up you can possibly grab and or take advantage of that results in more money in your pocket or your bank account every single month. All right, thanks again. Subscribe down below and let's get into it and talk about Social Security benefits, raises to benefits on an annualized basis and compounding. What do I mean by this? Now, if you've been watching the videos here on the channel for a while now, you've probably heard me talk about compounding before. Now, a lot of times we might think about it and think, I don't really know what this means and why is it such a great thing? Well, compounding is amazing. When it comes down to money, your monthly benefits and things like this, long periods of time yields big, big results as in more money in your pocket as a result of compounding. And realistically, you don't even need that big of numbers for compounding to make a huge, huge difference in your life. So I wanna talk you through the details of a report that was released and a chart that was also released talking about social security benefits over the next decade. Decade, okay. All right. As a result of this, I want to bring you up to speed as far as where we currently stand with uh, average benefits as of October 2023. Now, to be fair, yes, I completely recognize that is a few months ago. Okay. I get it, but that is what this chart is based on is the average social security benefit as of October, 2023, and then benefits projected out 10 years based on a 2.6% annual cost of living adjustment, okay? Now, again, we know that for 2024, the COLA is obviously 3.2%, but historically over the last 10 years, the COLA has been averaged out 2.6%, okay? Taking a 2.6% average COLA into consideration over the next 10 years, you're gonna see how these benefits will increase dramatically as a result of a small, small raise and compounding. In other words, time. Time and compounding results at, into big, big numbers and raises to benefits as well as a lot of other things. So let me talk you through the numbers here and you'll clearly see what's going on. In fact, uh, I'll put a little chart up on the screen. So as I talk through the details about this, check out this chart right here. This is right out of that article, okay? So you can see average benefits as of October 2023, $1,796. That is the average social security benefit during that time period, okay? Now, on a monthly, or sorry, uh, on an annualized basis, you can see right there in the chart, but, uh, benefits do bump up a little bit based on that 2.6% COLA. Each year, they continue to get a little bit bigger, right? And the COLA continues to average out as far as higher dollar amounts uh, being added to your check every single year. Because remember, even though the COLA 2.6% uh, in this example here, over every single year of this 10 year example, you can clearly see that the increase to the benefit actually goes up a little bit because it's compounded. The percentage of the raise is based on a higher dollar amount resulting in more money, a little bit more each and every year. Well, if we fast forward all the way out to the end of this example here, 10 years later, so obviously this would be October of say 2033, right? So that'd be 10 years out from uh, when the original average benefit from October 23 was taken, right? So if we look all the way out 10 years out, the average benefit for the retiree is $2,321 per month, which by the way, that is a difference of $525 a month based on October 2023 out until October 30, uh, 2033, so 10 years later. The average beneficiary is now getting $525 more every single month, which by the way, that averages out to $6,300 a year more. Why? Did they give a $200 raise? No. Did they raise benefits by $500? No, not really. All they did was they added a 2.3% COLA every year 
over that 10 year period of time and compounding is what resulted in this raise of $525 a month or $6,300 a year more for the average beneficiary. So again, this gives you an example right here. I know you've heard me talk about compounding before because I've mentioned it a few times in other videos if you've been watching for a while now. I continue to say compounding is your friend. Compounding and time, even with little dollar amounts, can turn into a lot of dollar amounts in a, you know, an extended period of time. And in this example, we're only talking about 10 years. Let's be real, how fast does 10 years go by, <laughs> right? It's almost kind of scary how fast 10 years zips right on by and then they're like, wait, what happened to the last 10 years, right? So this is the example that I wanted to give you. Now, let's just say, for example, that the COLA ac actually averages a little bit hotter than 2.6%. Now, remember, that is the historical uh, COLA over the last 10 years. So we're looking back in history 10 years. The average COLA is 2.6% averaged out. Let's just say that the COLA runs a little bit hotter for the next 10 years. Let's just say that it runs at 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 3% over the next 10 years that's gonna result in significantly even more money. Even though it's only say a tenth of a percent, maybe four tenths of a percent, something like this over the next 10 years, remember that's all compounded. It may only result in say $3, $5, $10 more a year on top of the, you know, whatever the COLA would be uh, based on a 2.6%. But that little bit of a difference would be then compounded year over year over year. The raises would get higher and higher. And that $525 would be, quite a bit more than that. It might even be, say, six, uh, $600 a month more, right? So again, you can see, I want to share this example, example with you because I've talked about compounding so many times before in other videos and said, a time and compounding with small dollar amounts turns into big dollar amounts over an extended period of time. So that's why I'm gonna come back here in this video and show you this example right out of this article right here, where you can clearly see, wow, that's a quite a bit, right? Again, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, I'm speaking personally right here. That to me is a big, big increase, okay? I get it. We're only talking about 2.6% COLA over this uh, example here of the 10 years, but let's look at the dollars. The dollars, to me, that is a lot more. $525 more a month, to me, again, I can't speak for everybody, to me is a lot. I'd be very happy about that, right? So again, this is what I wanna share with you, but I also wanna talk here for a second and say, I completely recognize benefits are significantly below what beneficiaries actually need right now. I completely recognize that. I see your comments down below. We've all been here together through this for nearly four years now that I've been talking about this literally every single day. I get it. We all are here at the same point, right? We all understand this. The benefits that beneficiaries are currently getting right now are significantly below what people actually need to live on. I understand that just as much as you do, right? So I'm not trying to sit here and say, oh, everybody's fine. No, everybody is not fine. We know that, right? It's very loud and clear. We understand this very, very clearly. But I just wanted to say, this is what it comes down to when we look at average benefits starting in October, 2023, extending out 10 years, adding a 2.6% average cost of living adjustment and compounding it over that amount of time, it's massive. It turns into quite a bit more money, right? But then again, one more thing, I wanna throw it really fast too as well. Do we think the purchasing power of the dollar, our currency here in the United States, a dollar, do you think it's gonna have the same value in 10 years as it has today? No, not even close, right? That $1 that you have today might be worth I don't know, 60 cents, 50 cents, it's gonna be worth significantly less in 10 years. So again, we gotta take that into consideration as well. Why? Because they keep printing money, they keep deflating it, right? So as a result of that, money is losing purchasing power. That $1 today, whatever you can get for it, you're not gonna get nearly that much in 10 years from right now. That's just the, the nature of the game. That's just what happens, okay? So. Hope this helps you out, but again, I wanna bring uh, come back for you really quickly here, break all the details down, show you that little chart there really fast here so you can see what's going on. And again, why I've been saying for a long time now, compounding, it's amazing, right? So anyway, hope you're having a nice day so far. Again, leave your comments, your questions, your feedback down below. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. There's a lot of things going on right now. I'll continue to watch everything closely and bring it to your attention right here on these short videos every single day. I'll continue to advocate on your behalf. Also share the video go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Also down below in the description, I have a bunch of videos linked down there as well. Check those out. Otherwise, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later.